Hey guys, Xavier here, and today I'm back in Genshin Impact. That box here with Mona. is really important to me. If anything were to happen to it, I wouldn't be able to report back to that old crone. Yeah, we gotta go and get that box and last at the end of the last episode it was revealed that Klee is the successor of all characters. So I'm now making my way on foot to Wind Rise, I think it was. The area that's called. Yeah, Windrise. Windwheel Asters. I wonder where Klee's at. <laughs> oh, she's over there? Okay. Completely random spot, and she's right next to an enemy as well. Wise choice of location, Klee. We're here! This is it! Let's take it up! This has to be the work of Dendro Slimes. It can't be! I put a sign here! There's no mistake! Uh, what's up, Klee? Ah! Dendro Slimes! Yep, Dendro Slimes. We could talk later! Let's take them out first! Of course. Let's fight. Halloween Thunder! Okay. To ashes! Okay, there we go. It's this box. Hey, we got a box. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. Yeah. Our dream will complete. Let's bring it back. Let's hope it's the right box. Because if it's not the right box, that's going to be annoying. It's like, it's literally just going to be a situation of dig up different locations to find a box. Sorry for taking so long, Mona. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. Yeah, sorry about I that. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. Are you it reading... dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might yeah. contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We found a box. We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Oh, no. Hey? Huh? Why? Well... It's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Oh no. Borrowed? Oh no. But what since you you're done? here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. No, she was you after the treasure. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. She has it on her. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. <sighs> it's the book in your hand. Wait. What? Th this. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary yeah. from 50 years ago? Okay, that was... The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? <laughs> what is oh, going on? I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am, am I in trouble? No, Clee, you're in the clear. Uh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. Yeah, there's no point in getting mad at Clee. There she goes, running off. Um, well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. Mm. Oh. After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. How could she forget That's... Oh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Too expensive? Yes. I mean, no. You really have no way with words. <laughs> well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. Ooh. Stop talking about
about it. I, I guess I'll have to. Assuming you I'll me. just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Does that really count as temporary? But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to stay. About that. We can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. Okay. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... Well, you know what I mean, don't you? Of course. Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. We gotta speak to Catherine and try and find Mona a place to live. Because, well, she, she's broke. <laughs> Clearly, as much as she tries to lie. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. About Mona's background and her quandary. I see. I understand the situation. Yeah. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. The door! Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe yes, that door. if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. I'll take her to go have a look. All it right. might be Then her allow me to tell house. you where the house is. It might be her enemy's house. <laughs> but don't worry, Catherine. I know where this house is. I've seen it so many times. I know it. The person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let's Let see me if you see. Crack the lock, basically. Mm, I see. So if you first, and then you. Hey, we get. We finally got another hands unlocked. So All long. All right, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine, and you'll be able to stay here. No yeah. need, no need. You have my utmost oh, thanks. House. You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back, and Catherine told me about the matter. Uh, I never okay. thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. So wait, to express to my clothes? thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. Rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Mm. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Yeah, she doesn't really have more. Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... I save a little here, scrimp a little there, and you'll be fine. I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks okay. for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But okay. I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. As you said, this journey was all gain and no loss. Thank you. Our traveling together was fate. And of the good kind, I'd say. I wish you both safe travels. <sighs> as for me, I need to think of the future as well. Yeah. With how you're living, Mona. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. Uh, okay. So, that's just now a thing, I guess? Come back every once in a while to check on her? Honestly, I thought that quest would last a bit longer. So, considering... It's not even... That was like 10 minutes worth of footage. Let's move on to... Albedo's story. Uh, so... I sort of accidentally started this quest. Uh, again, Sucrose is like the first person you meet in, Like with the uh, card game. Like, 
both times I've actually started the quest, and it was her. Basically, uh, the usual guy, uh, Timothy, I think his name was, is off with Albedo at Dragon Spine, and we got to go and find her to learn alchemy. My apologies. I don't really know how else to describe him. If I could sketch you his portrait, I would. But my pencil strokes are no match for his. I have a pencil. <laughs> Just describe him, I can draw him for you. Uh, my pencil strokes are, would be worse than yours, Sucrus. Haven't you heard? There's a strong So I've gotta head over this way. And find a well dressed man. Oh. Huh? Who's this guy? Is he Joel's father? Hi, Joseph. So yeah, this is a side quest I was doing just for the fun of it. I'm glad you're finally reunited. This time, did something happen to us? Hmm. Who? Yeah. Oh. Just, just roll it down the mountain. Jeez. Now I see why they call you reckless pallad. <laughs> oh, it, it's a classic case of a uh, person joined the search party not realizing they were the one they were looking for. Ah. Oh. Well, at least he goes memory. The boar princess feeding the foxes? What? I'm... Okay, that's confused. Oh, he had a head injury. Okay. Yeah, probably not a good idea to go eat any more adventures. Oh, yeah, he is, as his name suggests, he is reckless. Hmm. This took, that took up more time than I expected. <laughs> Rosaria, hello. <laughs> Sister Rosaria, so here you are. Choir practice is about to. I've told you already. I don't go in for that kind of thing. I've got more important matters to attend to. Oh, but this event has commemorative <laughs> significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Hopes. That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes of others clause in my job description. <laughs> I... Uh, I mean, sure, but... I like Rosaria. But what? For her You're the event and... organizer, aren't you? Do you not find it the least bit odd? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? This far out from Mondstadt at this hour? <laughs> Even if you set out right now, I'll wager you'd still miss the opening ceremony. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe this is someone's grand plan to make a fool out of you. Huh? Well, th that can't be. People aren't like that. <laughs> Evidence decides Wait, what people are like, not your feelings. <sighs> Maybe you're a little too trusting of other people. Don't fret. Nobody's gonna blame you if you go back empty-handed. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional enough to think I was gonna show up. 
but if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. <gasps> You're right. It's a very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then... Uh, right, I've got to get going. And there is me. Hmm. Seems like that sister's an expert in making people believe anything she wants. Mm -hmm. I thought I heard something. Who are you and why are you eavesdropping? I, we better watch that? out. She seems like a dangerous villain. Or a trickster at best. <laughs> oh, really? I'm a member of the long-standing Favonius Church. You're an eavesdropping pixie from who knows where. And you think I'm the trickster? Wait, she heard that? Paimon was whispering so quietly. Uh, no, really. And as for this outlander you seem to be following... Uh, huh. So it's you. Yeah, it's the me. The honorary knight that saved us from storm terror. Well then, given your status, I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Yes, yeah, sorry. Didn't Otherwise, depending on your answer, I could have arrested you on the spot. What? Do the sisters of Monsta have the authority to arrest people now? We can't go turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? Yeah. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. But Paimon can't think of a good comeback. Let's talk about you. What are you doing in the mountains? Okay, it, it, I'm in the right quest. We're looking for Albedo. If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Oh, thank you. Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. So, are you also looking for him? I no, nah. this is just a professional habit of mine. I sensed elemental traces in these tracks. Never hurts to be vigilant. As far as sisters go, you're fairly mysterious. I couldn't care what you think. Come on then, I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. I thought you didn't care about what he was doing. Rosaria said there were elemental traces in the trap. They should show up pretty clearly with elemental sight. Be messing with people. You know, little pixie, your ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. Uh, yeah? Uh, After committing a crime, you'd be able to leave the scene without a trace. This way. You're so suspicious. <sighs> it's getting colder and colder. Rosaria, aren't you freezing? Me? <laughs> I'm alright. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a long time ago. Funny thing is, if you have a character, huh? that wouldn't happen. Seems like there's more to being a sister in the Favonius Church than Paimon realized. I, I didn't think I'd just be doing a tracking mission today. I'm expecting, I was expecting this quest of mine to go a bit longer. Who's this? Is that Albedo? Why would he hang around a place like this? The word on the street is he loves painting. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Potential paintings everywhere you look. But can't he see those hilly churros? Isn't he in danger? No, he's probably painting them. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like we startled them. Enough talk! Let's take them out of the picture first! Well, we gotta uh, definitely move on the beta picture. Feel the beat! Did you alarm yeah, we them? ruined your painting, sorry. Thank the gods I'd already completed my painting. Would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly churls unfinished. You were painting hilly churls? What's up with painting hilly churls? What makes them so interesting? Yeah. Hmm. I'm afraid the answer isn't easy to explain. If you'd like to have a look at my painting, it may give you a clue. Uh, very avant-garde. Wow! Look at the detail! But some of it seems to have been done in a hurry. You can find these holy trolls anywhere. 
Quite boring, in fact. Not worth closer inspection. Yeah. But take a look at this specimen. The build, the coat, and there's a distinct force at work here. In the cyclical lives of such primitive communities, such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the known to the un- it, Hold your horses. Ugh, something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't got the stamina. We found your man. I'm headed back. See you, Rosario. What? Don't you have any questions for him? Hey! Ugh, what a weirdo. Yeah, she's probably already disappeared. So Sister Rosaria saying. brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me? Yes. Mm -hmm. We lessons. met a girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. Yeah. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. That I've is heard a me. bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. Like what? I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar. From another world. Correct? You, Abedo, are worthy of your scholarly reputation. Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. Your research? <laughs> Forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Hmm. The essence of life? Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa. You want to start with that? Hmm. Yeah. You're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. Also, uh, For example, I might be awakening life. Breathing new life into fallen leaves. Wow. Okay. You can do that? That could be true. It really is miraculous. However, I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. Okay. It's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom. That's the problem my research is up okay. against. That's where I need your assistance. We need to figure out how to Well, right? if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're gonna be much assistance. I beg to differ. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world. But you're not from the known world. By observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. So, I'm an object of research? Uh, shall we just get out of here? This sounds a little freaky. What's in it Mora, for me? knowledge, and the answer to the question you are seeking. It happens to be an answer that I can provide. How does that sound? Time for a yeah, change of like surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. Yeah, it's a bit cold here. Oh, she didn't leave. She's just... Sti she's eavesdropping. Albedo and that traveler seem to have hit it off. Takes a weirdo to know one, I guess. I wonder... Does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? Wait. How would that work? I need to warm up. First test site is just up the path. Test site number one. Paimon has a question. After the seed sprouts, will it grow into anything? I don't know. But I feel the importance will lie in the I method, don't think it's an actual not seed. the end point. Like his, Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. After awakening, even creation may be possible. Wow. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Still a little difficult to understand? No, Paimon's got a brain. But what's the seed gonna become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? Doesn't seem like you understood, Paimon. Well, if it turns out to be a delicious fruit, dinner's on me. Yay! Paimon's holding you to it. You sure know how to keep Paimon on board. Well, let's just say I, uh, occasionally have to look after a child. Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, 
Manipulating the elements requires a vision. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person, how you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Firstly, do you have any extra organs? A second heart? A fourth stomach? Things of that nature. Wait, do people here have three stomachs or something? Not that I'm aware of. Fascinating. And this floating child is... connected to your body in some way? No. What a stupid question! Can't you see the gap between us? And another thing, it's Paimon, not floating child! I was merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. <laughs> Should I...? <laughs> I caught Paimon with a fishing rod. Oh. That rules out that possibility. I wonder, did Paimon guide the elemental power to you? But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick, what? or cause the waterfall south of Springville to flow backwards. What? Hmm. Jeez, Paimon. No, that definitely can't be it. Hey! How would you know anyway? In that case, it would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. Okay. Given that there's clearly a discrepancy in their research, it seems that only experimentation will yield the answers. Firstly, this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them, using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Huh? Doesn't seem very sciencey. Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. This is just a simple exercise. Of course. Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, we could bring in six oceanids. Nah. Slimes! Oceanids Slimes are as, fine! As long as I'm not being battered around by hydro mix. Well, prepare yourself. The slimes will be here any moment. Wait, what? How do you... Okay. Take this! Yeah. <laughs> Any method. Useless. No, I can even get it on the Great work. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? Not really. If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Just a bit cold. Excellent. According to my observations, <laughs> the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Now that okay. we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Uh, internal internal flow? flow? How do you test that? Yeah. It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. Will it crystallize in my stomach? Sounds kind of terrifying. <laughs> Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. Okay. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. That's not hugely reassuring. Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Okay. Just a warning. 
if an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. This is like a health checkup. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. It's Dude, a type of ore known as star silver. But unfortunately, silver. not oh, all I of it is suitable. I've collected that. I'll take you to my Lost. campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. I think all I have going some star to plan. Silver. We should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. Paimon still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. But Let's keep our eyes open. Let's go to the beta. Here, should do for catalyst purposes. Take this! Boring! This one, usable with a bit of polish. What luck! This should be enough. Let's, My campsite is just up ahead. I'll lead the way. Okay. Funny how you say follow the road, and I had to jump the gap to follow the road. This is my campsite. I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. While we are waiting, have a look over here. Okay, where have you got to show me? My assistant Timaeus here is helping oh, me with Timaeus. my research. That's right. I'm guessing you may have met in Mondstadt already. Hello! I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Well, that was fun. Wow! Look at all the data! You got all these results from one slime battle? That is impressively fast. <laughs> I wouldn't call them results, inferences, and a few daring guesses, perhaps. I think the most rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. That's rational? Hmm, consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. The slimes don't have visions either, yet they oh, too are okay. able to manipulate the elements. Oh, okay. Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. Not bad for a point of entry. But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. In other words, beings consisting entirely of the elements. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower might be a better analogy. But tracing back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, Things might get difficult, don't you think? Uh, yes, sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. Yeah. If it turned out that he did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world... Huh. Now that really would be something, wouldn't it? Ah, it would. <laughs> Apologies. I was so excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. Wait, he's Speaking of data, well. to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting analysis here for the time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Okay. Great, I'll leave you to it. Where's this concoction that you've got for me to drink? Huh. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Mm -hmm. In line with my expectations. Ready to drink. Remember to keep calm at all times. And breathe deeply if you feel unwell. Bulbs up. Let's give it a drink. Oh, it tastes. Tasty? You've got a funny look on 
on your face. It's burning a bit. You said you tried some already. You sure it was ready? What happened to him? Hmm? Oh, this was the result I was expecting. And a very positive one at that. You this potion channels music? elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. Okay. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? <laughs> it was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. Out of consideration for the test subject. But of course, you're my assistant. By all sense and reason, it would be wrong of me to place that risk onto you. In conclusion, I'd say we have our conclusion. As far as elemental energy is concerned, you're no different from anyone else in this world. Nothing peculiar. Huh. Aw, Paimon wanted something cooler to happen. Then again, better an ordinary result than a peculiar result. Peculiar results have a tendency to be of the... undesirable variety. I feel like you're referring to something in particular. The good thing about ordinary is that everything is an object of reference, and everyone understands you. Awesome. People are the same, they can understand, empathize, encourage, and support one another. When you're sick, a doctor can diagnose you because they are you. When something goes wrong, you can ask people who've made the same mistake for their experience because you are them. But a peculiar person, they don't have much recourse for the things we take for granted. <clears throat> the essence of their life is fundamentally different. Yeah, okay. For example, a human can't understand the life of a pyro regisfine or an eye of the storm. Have I explained it clearly enough? Uh, it still seems like there's another layer of meaning to your words. To sum up, this has been a positive outcome. Going forward, you can use your elemental power without fear. Awesome. Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. If you could see to collating them. Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. <laughs> you gave me a lot to consider. Really stretched my limits. I'm thinking a lot clearer now. Oh, having you down as an animal <laughs> wasn't very precise of me. But starting with the premise of an elemental life form? Now that was... Not bad. I think it's an interesting line of inquiry. Whatever the truth of the matter, I'd like your research at the fore as opposed to my judgment. Okay. You can count on me, sir. I'll extract a result satisfactory to all. Is he trying to join the knights? He's starting to sound like a suck-up. <laughs> uh, what Paimon meant to say was, that's the spirit. Mr. Albedo, say something. Mm hmm. Before we can proceed with our research, I need to... Prepare something. Wait one moment. If you're interested, why not have a look around? It may help to pass the time. Go. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, links will be in the description to the main channel at the second channel for you guys to go check out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know next video comes out. A ding, a ding. I'm Xavier. Xavier, out.